so um so th this is maybe like kind of kind of wholesale kind of sale like you know you have like this kind of carbon board uh box right and they like you know you can lay like kind of like water absorbing like paper in the, in the bottom and then like in the top as well and then like you know just lay uh, all these like noodles right and like fresh fresh noodles and um yeah and then you can just we'll ship it out to well you know you're like um neighboring uh like restaurants that use these kind of noodles you know um yeah so just to show you guys and then uh so the kind of kind of uh yeah so the this is a very basic um ramen noodles uh that's 34 percent um ramen noodles and it's like with ramen flour and uh again like protein ash the viscosity value like you know we we can have kind of like flour that matches the kind of like noodles that we want to make right and uh this is the solid ingredients and then these are the uh, liquid ingredients so like liquid ingredients we have like country salt water the water like that's um 32 percent to the weight of the flour and then this is one percent to the weight of flour, one percent weight of so that's 34 percent hydration ratio so this machine like i think like you know you may be like familiar by now but like it's it's called like it's called uh richmond one machine richmond one machine so it's a it's an all-in-one machine that produces up to uh 100 servings of uh, fresh noodles from scratch Yeah, so first we we're gonna add this uh, solution um, with like salt in it and you know uh, the calcium in it, the 34% uh, hydration ratio water, and this is kind of typical of um, kind of standard. You know, there are some like such thing as standard like ramen noodles, but like um, kind of medium sized. Ramen noodles like they're re really suitable for um, well, well, actually any any kind of soup actually any kind of soup. Like you can like go with that like shoyu ramen. Like you can go with the shio ramen, right? And you can go with like yeah, basically like, any any kind of soup. But like um, typically, like I see um, they're like coupled with um, yeah, shoyu soy sauce like kind of soup. And um, yeah, so and then she she prepared the uh, dough in advance, and yeah, it's you can see that the dough is um, is um, like 34% dough is like this, like it's uh, not too big, not too small. It's it's like um, yeah, it's kind of like good, kind of like well hydrated. Uh, dough and and then uh so she she had she had this dough like in a plastic bag right and then that's how you um how we um so like age the dough like how we rest the dough and that helps um that helps the um condition the dough in a way that like it makes the uh, noodle texture good So what she's doing now is that like she's feeding the dough into the set of rollers, um, some rollers, and then like that's well um, set to a certain roller gap, and um, uh, current current roller gap is like 1.5 millimeter, and um, so we can control the uh, roller gap depending on the uh, different different hydration ratio. So basically, the higher the high ratio, ratio, the bigger the um, dough size. So we need to set the roller gap like kind of wider. 
to accommodate the uh, the size of the the doll. And so you know we but like for this type of doll, like medium height ratio ratio doll, the the doll size is that is not that big. So like um, the initial wall gap that we start is just 1.5 millimeter. It's not too um, narrow, not too uh, wide. Yeah, so like, um, so she just keeps, um, you know, feeding the dough, right? And like to make like rough sheet of dough, right? First, and then what's good thing about like this um, machine is that like you can do small batches, like you can do like in small batches, and the smallest batch that you can do like you know in terms of mixing uh, capacity, right? That's like four, four kilograms of like solid ingredients. And in four kilograms of solid ingredients, like you're adding like 34% hydration ratio, right? 34% hydration ratio. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit difficult like calculation that you you know uh, for your like just a head to do, but like 34%. Um, so that's that makes like about like you know five point some kilograms of like dough, right? Um, and then so that's the minimum batch that you can do, and so that's great right like that gives you the flexibility that gives you the flexibility you know the power of flexibility is great and so you can make small batches like in you know, different types of noodles right and then so you can well respond to like kind of unique requests of like your local uh, customers you know wanting like you know particular types of noodles right um, they are difficult to make in mass production Noodle factory, and so it's a, uh, yeah. So that's what's good about you know this machine. Like you know, it's a like small, was the like flexibility that allows you to um, you know swing between uh, you know, dining in, you know, retail, delivery, and the other other types of uh, business that you can do with the ramen, right? So. So what we are doing right now is like this combining process. So like first, like what we did was just, uh, you know, making rough sheet of dough, right? Making rough sheet of dough, which is still fragile. It's very weak. Um, but, you know, we by like separating it into uh, two sheets and then combining them, like combining them, like through the roller, right? Then that, that makes them, you know, firm. That makes them strong. And in terms of noodle texture, that's that's uh, that's that's gonna be like very farm and ramen like you know it's it's not it's it's not too hard but like you know kind of like crunchy like chewy so this process um, makes that kind of texture and uh, we usually do this process like combining process like twice and um, so like applying. You know, very uh, right amount of pressure into the dough to uh, sort of like kind of activate the like gluten inside dough, right? Um, and then like for um, this noodle to have, you know, certain um, certain like strength, right? Certain strength, like something like so. It's basically like all about like you know when customers bite into your noodles, they bite into noodles, and so what working towards that moment right when like customers buying the noodles 
and the kind of sensation that you know they they feel like under, under their teeth, right? And um, yeah, so these two, well, like one one time or like twice, but we do this combining process, and so that that makes this uh, this noodle texture possible. So, but in this uh, particular dough, like we do this combining process twice, and after that, right? Uh, so you may be able to notice that, like you know, we start dusting it. We start dusting it, right? Um, so from this point on, right, um, we don't want the dough to stick together. So we want to start dusting, right, to keep it from sticking, keep the dough from sticking. And after that, right, after this process, like combining process, you know, all we have to do is just pin it, pin it to the final thickness. So the thickness uh, is determined by the uh, roller gap, right? Thickness determines the roller gap. And so that, that determines the like, kind of like part of the size, right? Part of the noodle size. And, um, and if you're making a uh, flat noodle, then you know, we can use the uh, um, bigger cutter, like a wider cutter, and then cut it like kind of, well, you know, kind of flat and then like make the flat noodles. Um, and then, or, or you can use the uh, kind of like small size cutter and then to make like kind of square shaped noodles, but like kind of small size. And this shape, right, this shape and the noodle size affects the noodle texture, final noodle texture um, dramatically. So you need to think about, you know, the shape, right, shape the noodles, like kind of, well, a cross section of the final noodles um, to um, see, you know, like if you're, if you're like making the noodles into the shape, kind of shape like we want, right? Kind of shape that we want um, that sort of like um, determines the like final noodle texture. So it's it's, it's very important. And um, and we have to understand that, like, you know, because, like, dough is, well, like a better word, like, you know, alive, right? It was alive, but, like, well, it's not really alive, but, like, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's moving. I mean, it's not really moving, but, like, um, so once it's, like, a path through this uh, roller gap, right, the, the actual dough um, expands, right, bounces back. Um, right now, it's, like, rolling up. Uh, Sheeting like 1.5 millimeter in roller gap, um, but like the actual thickness of dough is bigger, always bigger, because it's you know at the moment like it gets out like the roller gap, it bounces back, right? So it's always bigger. So like before you cut, before you like start cutting it, you should measure it. You should measure the thickness. You should measure the thickness, right? And then, it, so it's like it was 1.5 millimeter, like roll gap, right? But its actual thickness is 2.2, 2.3-ish millimeter. So there's a big difference, right? Like that's like almost like 0.8 millimeter difference. And if we, you know, believe that it's like 1.5 millimeter, right? And then, you know, um, set the roller gap accordingly and then cut it and then like you know we, we get the final thickness like all screwed up and then that's that's really bad for the uh, noodle texture uh, final noodle texture so um you know if you if you keep doing that like if you repeat it like if you have done it like many times then you probably you know don't have to measure it but like if you're making for example like this noodle like you know this recipe like for the first time you should measure it. You should measure the actual thickness. And again, like that's a kind of cutter we use, a slit air cutter. And that's that's like a, that's like a paper shredder, right? Paper shredder. And then so it splits um, the dough sheet into uh, noodle strands. And this cutter, um, so you saw that like all these groups, like groups, like each group, like it's fixed. Um, in size and number 20 means like that's 1.5 millimeter in width. So each group is 
1.5 millimeter in width. So um, each, each of the neural strands that are coming out um, is 1.5 millimeter in width. But that, again, like thickness is determined by the roller gap. And so the noodles are coming up, right? And then we can actually uh, also control the serving size as well, serving size. Um, you can make it longer to have like bigger serving size. You can make it shorter to have, you know, smaller serving size. And, you know, of course, like you have as a customer, right? You, you may have like family, right? And then like, you know, dad, eats a lot so like you know he wants to have like a bigger serving size like you know kids right they have kids and like they don't eat much right so like you know they want to have like kind of kid meal kind of a small serving size to make it shorter right so it's very easy to do that like just you know touch the knob like just um make it shorter make it longer it's very easy to do and of course like you can also like make them curly yeah, there's a there's a part there's a parts that you can put them back in the cutter to make them curly, and um, we we uh, cover well we we show how you get well, we show you guys how to do it like in a previous class like actually last week, so if you're interested in uh, how you can make curly noodles, um, please check our class we did it last week. <coughs> So it's very um, easy to do, and you know, in small batches, in small batches like it's, which is like really important because, like you know, again, like that gives you the power of flexibility in this business. So it's very important, like um, to you know that that gives like ability to like to be able like respond um, to the flexibility, right? So it's very important. So that was that was quick, right? Like so, you know, we only made like made, made like bunch of noodles that um, are ready to go, right? <laughs>